Hi everyone, Gavin Sign here. And today we're gonna look at how to install Lightroom presets and manage Lightroom presets in every version of Lightroom. Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC and its corresponding uh, app. You can now have presets in the mobile app as well as older versions of Lightroom. But you didn't come here to look at my baby blues. Let's jump in to Lightroom. I actually have all three versions open right now. I'm gonna show you that. Let's start in the latest version of Lightroom Classic CC. That is the desktop version that most of us are used to. Okay, so if we look here, we're in develop module, here are the presets. We now have this new preset management tools and we're gonna see these in both Lightroom Classic as well as Lightroom CC. We'll look at that in a moment. If I click manage presets, you can see that I can now show and hide groups of presets, which means I can hide the default presets that usually aren't so good, or maybe we just don't want cluttering up the interface. Very welcome feature. Dare I say that the new import and management features of presets in Lightroom are good. I'm actually pretty impressed with what we can do. But what if we want to import new presets? So there's a couple ways to do it, but with the new import presets, whereas in older versions of Lightroom, it, it didn't organize at all. It just dumped any presets you imported from here into the user presets folder. We can now import whole folders of presets. In fact, if I click import presets, I can click the folder. I don't even have to unzip it. I've downloaded PW6. I can actually click the entire folder. Realistically, I would also want to unzip this because there's other extras and things in this case in the folder. But if you download a, a folder of zipped presets, you can just click import and it's going to find the correct presets in there and import those. And you can see just like that, I have the nice tidy folder here in Lightroom. Uh, this functionality would be Lightroom 7.4 and on, and older versions of Lightroom we'll look at in a moment. All that good stuff. Let's swing over to Lightroom CC. Okay, so this is kind of the online focused app that syncs with your mobile. Presets installed in Lightroom Classic, they should automatically show up in here as well. Okay, if they don't, however, you still have the same management tools. So you can come in here, you can manage presets, hiding the collections you want, you can import presets, and of course you can delete groups of presets just like this. Now the presets that are in here, you're signed in, those are going to sync with, with your mobile. And so you'll actually have all those presets on the mobile phone to edit with. I don't do my serious editing on the mobile, but it's really neat to have all the same functionality to edit mobile photos with and have those same presets. So again, I could just click here, import presets. If I go to my desktop, here is the unzipped version of these presets. Make sure that whole PW 6.1 folder is in there. So you can see I have these same presets in Lightroom CC that I have in Classic. Everything should sync up. So if you install presets into Lightroom Classic, they should show up in Lightroom CC. They should also show up in your camera raw presets because that's where it's putting them. And so the developed presets should be available from camera raw in Photoshop and camera raw in Bridge. It really kind of ties everything together nicely. But let's look at the more advanced way to manage presets and to install things like local adjustment presets. If I go to preferences in the Lightroom menu, on Windows, this would be under the Edit menu. I'm going to go to Preferences. And if you go to the Presets tab, which I'm already on, you can see these buttons. I would not recommend clicking Store Presets with Catalog unless you need to, because that will dedicate those presets only to your current catalog. Most of us don't want that. OK, so there's two buttons here now in the latest version, Show Develop Presets. Now, this was kind of the old school way of installing presets that I've, I've been teaching for a decade or so. But now you see it's opening the presets in the camera raw. So the presets installed in here are the common presets that Lightroom Classic, Lightroom CC, Camera Raw is all sharing. They've moved them all to this camera raw folder. This is where they go if you install them from here in the presets panel now. However, you can still manage and move and delete files and things like that. And when you restart Lightroom, it will update, okay? You could also paste develop presets directly into here, providing uh, they're in that XMP, the newer XMP format. Uh, if they're the old LR template format, and speaking of the old location, let's actually look at that. That would be the show all other Lightroom presets. This is the folder we've been looking at for over a decade in Lightroom that is all the presets related to Lightroom. So you can copy, you can move them, you can back them up. And here's the old develop presets. And you can see that we can still import presets into here 
and manage them. And if we import the old LR template style of presets into here, it will actually just, when we restart Lightroom, it will update them to the new format and move them to the camera raw folder automatically, okay? But that said, if you want to do local adjustment presets, you're still gonna want to go to this folder because common mistake is people put local adjustment presets for brushes, gradients, etc., into develop presets and that won't work. So if you just paste a folder of presets like elegance into local adjustments, you'll see now that if I go back over here and use, let's say the brush tool or the gradient tool, I have those presets over here in local adjustments. You can manage presets in Lightroom 7.4 or later, you can show the develop presets, which are going to be the presets for Lightroom, Camera Raw, Lightroom CC, Lightroom Mobile. And you can also use the button to show the old version of the folder, which is where all other presets that are not developed presets are still stored, such as local adjustment presets. Let's real quickly look at the older version. This is 7.2. This is what it's going to look like in anything older than 7.2. For those of you still using non-cloud versions of Lightroom, things like that, you're going to have this presets. And you can see that I can't practically hide the default presets. Uh, if I right-click here, I can uh, actually import presets. However, it's kind of a one at a time and they just go to user presets. So to manage presets in the older versions, you want to just go to preferences, go to the presets tab, and you'll see in the older versions, there's only one button, show presets folder. Okay, so you're going to look at a window like this, and it's going to show all the preset folders on versions that are older than 7.2, 7, 7.1, etc. Uh, the easiest way is just to put your presets into develop presets. And if you're dealing with versions really prior to about 7.1, I think, they're actually going to need to be this LR template, old style, legacy style file format. Otherwise, Lightroom's not going to recognize them and upgrade them because Lightroom wasn't using that version at that time. Uh, again, the latest versions, most of what you need to do and just be done from the presets tab. And of course, you can go to preferences to manage local adjustments and delete and move things around. Uh, Lightroom CC, again, most of those presets should automatically appear in there. But uh, if you're just trying to get presets in, you can import them directly to here and they should automatically sync to your Lightroom CC mobile app, providing you're signed in to everything. And so far, I've found that to be pretty fast and reliable. That's how you install presets in every version of Lightroom. Hey, thank you all for watching. If if you thought I was droning on and annoying, you can download this. If, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more vlogs and master photography tips. Uh, you can also find all of our professional preset collections that you saw me working with in Lightroom over at simefx.com if you want to check those out. All right, you guys, take care. Also, a very quick postscript. You should be able to import either a zipped file, and even if there's other things in the zip, I'm finding that Lightroom will see the presets it needs and import them, which is very convenient. You should also be able to import an unzipped file that is a folder of presets. In Lightroom CC, that works perfectly. There's no problems. On my Mac, as of October 2018, in Lightroom Classic, however, it, it didn't seem to like the unzipped folder. It wanted me to select individual presets within that, which of course I didn't want. I want the whole folder. So I found that importing the zipped file worked perfectly in Lightroom Classic CC. So if you're having a problem with this, uh, you can import the zip file or you can, you can take the more advanced approach and go to preferences and go to the presets folder and just copy and paste the folder or drag in the folder that you want to use. And hopefully this is a bug that will be fixed so that they work equally the same and you can import either a zipped folder or an unzipped folder with no problem. But I just wanted to tack this on here in case you're experiencing a problem with that. That's what I experienced. And uh, you can let me know if it works all right for you. All right, guys, take care.